Yeah, thank you very much, Paul. Welcome back to Epsom then on Derby Day. The crowds are really beginning to stream in now. We've got some entertainment going on in the background as well. Really, the atmosphere beginning to build. Yeah, welcome back then to Epsom. The uh, fun fair is in uh, full swing. Might have begun the merry-go-round later on. That's the closest I'll get to riding at Epsom, I'm sure. Yeah, thanks very much. Uh, welcome back uh, to Glorious Goodwood. Now, this day last year, you might remember that the guy to my left, Richard Kingscote, came on and said, Catchy will pretty much win uh, the Molcom. Yeah, I was looking back in his form, and he's got some good form in France over two miles, so I was wondering about how much he'll benefit from the extra yardage today. Uh, no Glen Eagles uh, today, which is obviously a shame for, for the race, makes it perhaps slightly mm. easier for you. How do you see the race panning out today? Yes, hello, welcome to Betfred TV's morning line on day one of the Cheltenham Festival 2016. Very shortly we'll be live to Presbury Park to get the very latest on conditions. <laughs> Welcome along to the bonus lunch, rather special bonus lunch today because we have someone in here who I was actually struggling to think of how I was going to introduce him because he's a Gold Cup winning jockey, he's a King George winning jockey, he's a World Hurdle winning jockey, so I'm just going to call him by his name, Paddy Brennan's with us. Paddy, thank you very much for coming up. Looking at the, the top of the market as we will in, in just a moment, Paddy, you're surrounded by sort of the Irish challenge if you like. You know you can beat a Vittor, are you confident that you can also beat the rest of that battalion? Well, let's remind ourselves, shall we, of the Leaf family history with the Welsh National. The dream, I guess, began back in 2009 when Le Beau Bay was third in the race. That horse would then go and win two years later. And then Mountainous would get his handsome head in front in 2013. But there's also ample support this year from the south as well. Down in Bawtree, where trainer David Griffiths is warning us we might need to take cover. So in conclusion then, it seems confidence is pretty high that Sea at Midnight can fly the flag for the North and Scotland, but also write his own name into a little bit of history.